And one day we're gonna get there. One day. Maybe this year. Maybe this century. Oh my gosh. Royal Blue Wizard, thank you for gifting this sub. <laughs> oh, geez. I, I really do appreciate it, everybody. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, but, again, if you can't, that's completely fine. Best way is, if you want to help but don't have money, that's fine. As long as you share the stream, share the word, come and have fun, and talk in chat, then that is enough support on its own. <laughs> Royal Blue Wizard, thank you so much. Oh my gosh. Let's see, Linalia currently getting them set up. Uh, let's see. It looks like we also, oh my gosh, have Unikitten streaming. I just need to capture them in a second. As soon as I see color to the edge for this. Oh, enjoy listening to... Uh, lemmings go into their home a little bit there. There we go. Ah, Corn Dan, whenever, whenever you think that you have your audio issues settled, go ahead and uh, say something so that we can hear it. Uh, no worries, I know you're here listening. Yeah, we get some dangerous buildings music. It's important music, okay? Let's see. Oh, Unikitten. Okay, she and she for Linalia. Cool. Uh, yeah, welcome to the internet. It's always difficult to tell uh, exactly what to say. Uh, but yeah, thank you for helping with that. Tails, welcome. Thank you for the sub. Oh my gosh. Okay, 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 okay. Uh, Ritz Blues, can you remind me of your stream name? Actually, wait, they're probably in Twitch chat right there. Ritz, let me find you. Ritz, oh, Ritz, oh, Ritz. I don't see them there. Okay, it looks like we have three out of four of the players currently streaming. That's right, we are doing Harry Potter and the Spirit of Dobby. At least that's what they say this is called. I don't All know, right. I don't there read Chinese. Are. Hello, Corn Dan. Hello. Okay, yeah, I can hear you now. Let me go ahead and boost your audio There's a bit. That better? Yeah, I think, I think I can hear you better now. Perfect. So yeah, what do you know about Harry Potter? Are are you a Harry Potter fan? So no, not really. Um, my wife is a big Harry Potter fan. I tried reading it and I can't get into it. What? So yeah, it, it, I, it's just how it is. Well, I mean, you're objectively wrong there, but well, I mean that could be. But I, I've tried several times and it's just not for me. So that's um, why. That's we do own all the Harry Potter books and all the Harry Potter movies and all that fun stuff. Did you just say Harry Potty? I think you did. No, I didn't. I heard Harry Potty, Corn Dan. You own all the Harry well, Potty movies. You know, if you're thinking about Harry Potties... <laughs> Don't... Yeah, you can visit my house for that one. Uh, Royal Blue Wizard, thank you for gifting that sub. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah, okay, so no Harry Potties allowed in chat, just Harry Potters. I'm giving you a hard time, Corn Dan. Oh, I know, I know. <laughs> Good. <laughs> I would be worried if if you're like, wow, Brasencia is just mean to me all the time. I just um, don't understand him. Brasencia is clearly mean all the time. All the time, Corn Dan, every day. All the time, every day. All the time. 
All right, I'm just waiting for Ritz Blues to go live. That'll give me time to set up the multi-stream here, so... Uh, yeah, let me actually send the link to you in the chat there so that you have it if you'd like. I mean Even all the... better. Yeah. Make it easy for you, Corn Dan. Harry Potty, oh no, and the Chamber Pot. <laughs> well, uh, Harry Potty and the Chamber of Secrets? I mean, I to be fair, they spent a lot of time in the bathroom for that one. <laughs> a lot of time. So I, I, I'm watching the, um, you know, as you're getting to set up some of the uh, the runners and the, you know where they have the game up and this looks amazing already. Yeah, yeah. Okay, I played it a little bit today in order to get sort of the feel for this game. And yeah, I, I managed to beat at least one level. I don't want to spoil anything for people. I have not told them much. And some of the controls are fantastic. I basically sent the game said, can any of you read Chinese? They said no. I'm like, okay, I'm not telling you anything then. <laughs> awesome. They'll figure it out. It's fine. I, I mean, as far as bootlegs go, though, this looks already to be a better bootleg than most. I, I mean, like the the splash screens and the press start screen and all of that, right, seem to be pretty high quality for a Game Boy Color game. Yeah, the bladder of fire. Oh no, Lord Dalek, that is the worst Harry Potter game. Uh, but yeah, I'm just showing the demo right now to everybody watching so that they can see what this looks like. And this is a Harry Potter game. Does this have rabbits? I don't... Oh my gosh. Jangle, no. <laughs> yeah, Author Blues, come! Come enjoy Harry Potty! I, I, I'm, I'm actually kind of disappointed. Like, all of our other bootlegs we've played have had Pokemon in them, and I haven't seen Pokemon yet. There might be some Pokemon in this. Uh, I, I was looking through some other bootlegs today as well, and... Some of them I've found have just been fantastic, okay? Uh, and I almost gave one of those that... I don't know, there are just so many I want to give. I love bootlegs! This is Larry Portal. Uh-oh. Okay, I'm just checking with Ritz right now to see uh, if they are going to be going live. So I hope everybody likes Harry Potter games. Uh, I actually found another bootleg Harry Potter game that I was playing it and I kind of liked it, Corn Dan. Is it the one that's like... Uh... I'm pretty sure I found a bootleg Harry Potter game that was almost like a Gradius game, except they were like on the um, on like the broomstick, and it was almost okay. Yeah, it was that one uh, that I was playing on Game Boy. Uh, it might have been Game Boy Killer. I'm not sure, but they had it's, a whole power up Game Boy system. Color game. If you yeah, can, yeah, uh, like if you collect the same element over and over, your shock gets upgraded. It was fun. I mean, I'm not going to call it good, right? I played, but I did enjoy it. I, I absolutely, you know, but it, it plays like a, a bad Gradius or something like that. Yeah. Yeah, it really did. Okay, Ritz. Ritz, where are you? My dear Ritz, we should be starting the match right now. Please go live if you can. Poor favor. Poor favor. Oh my gosh, I'm, I've been having fun, you know, the, everybody's been stepping it up for these round five games, and I've had an absolute blast. 
you know, there I'm, there are some games that I thought about giving, and then I was like, no, I want to go, I want to do more. I am looking forward to my other round five game on Tuesday. Ooh. Uh, I, I, I'm pretty sure I won't be able to top Franco, but it will be a good game. Or a fun game. Could be a good game, too, depending on how, how you look at things, I guess. Let's see. Let's see. I am still chilling, waiting for one person to go live. Hopefully that should happen in just a little bit. Oh my gosh, Franco, Corn Dan. I'm not sure how you're gonna be able to top Franco. I, I don't think I can. I I don't think I can for the next one. I don't know what's going. You know, like it's crazy. I'll have to find another game to sink 20 hours worth of effort into. No, do not put 20 hours into it. Okay, don't do it. Okay, still. I know Ritz has been around. Okay. Oh, this music is missing a channel. Well, deal with it, Mouse. I'm not sure why, because I can hear the channel, but other people can't. And then when I go and watch the VOD with this music, I don't hear it as well. I don't know. Like, I hear it on my computer. I don't hear it in VODs. This music is weird. Okay, well, I'm gonna go ahead and push this live so that I can start testing some of the audio. Ritz, we are still waiting for you, but I have given the seven minute warning. If needed, we will start without you, uh, because we have another match and we can't keep waiting for too long, especially since they confirmed that they were here. I, it's weird that they're not streaming. I, I don't know what's going on. But let's test Dragon Dark Sound. Uh... Okay. Okay, I'm just checking with Dragon Dark to see if we can get a little bit of an audio boost. Dragon Dark is turning the audio up some. Awesome. Okay. I am currently waiting on Ritz. If they go live within the next five minutes, we'll go ahead and have them. Otherwise, it's toodaloo. Uh, and we do have somebody lined up who could be a backup if needed uh, in order for us to have four players, because why not? So, yeah, I hope you all like Harry Potter video games and platformers and terrible controls, because this has it all. Uh, I like that Dragon Dark said uh, that the controls were completely fine on their end. <laughs> I'm like, no, this game is not okay.
why did Justin just put a sock? Oh no, he gave me a sock! Brosentia is free! Gordon! I have been gifted a sock! Excellent! <laughs> oh yeah, it- finally! Oh, Ritz is going live! That's good, because I don't want to play any more of this game. <laughs> you already played, like, a couple well, seconds. So, uh, I've been doing a different setup um, with a using a Switch Pro controller, and I hadn't set it up with my emulator yet. Uh-oh. Okay, so, so it looks like I need to test things. Ritz is responding now. They said that they got time zoned. Oh, time zones are hard. Uh, so, but they're live now, and they are getting ready to roll. I see their game, and so we should hopefully be able to get started in the next couple minutes. That's right, we've got some beautiful Harry Potter action. Ah, <sighs> yeah, I've, I've got a sock on my shoulder, okay? And it's great. Okay, everybody looks like they're pl they've got the game up. Uh, Professor Ness, don't worry. Uh, I'll, I'll mention a lot of stuff about this game because. It's going to be special. Harry Potter and uh, the Spirit of Dobby. Yeah, I'm free. I... The sock is even clean. Wow, it smells good. Well, good. Unikitten is ready. We're just waiting for uh, Lena Julieta. Okay, we're almost ready to do the countdown here. Excellent. Super close. Oh my gosh! I hope you're all ready for some Harry Potter action. Wish them the best of luck. We are doing the countdown in Discord. This is Harry Potter and the Spirit of Dobby. I don't know what the actual title is. And if you're one of the streamers, go ahead and mute slash pause me if you haven't. As soon as I see movement in a side a stage, I will start the timer. Okay, and here we go. It's Harry the Boy 4. Whatever. Uh, so, Corn Dan, welcome. To this Good game. To so here. you played this how much? Uh, about 15 seconds. 15 seconds? And I regret that 15 seconds. Oh, really? Okay. So the first thing that you'll probably notice, everybody watching, is the camera. Because if you don't push any direction, the camera s uh, moves to center on you. If you push left, the camera moves to the left. If you push right, the camera moves to the right. So it sort of is a bit of a motion sickness camera. Well, it's... I can appreciate that, though, especially given that the Game Boy Color screen is really small. Yeah. And so by doing that, you actually get to see more in front of you, right? Which was a problem, at least when I was growing up, trying to play like Sonic on the Game Gear. Oh, yeah. So Dragon Dark is trying to jump up on a platform. It's actually really difficult to jump on some platforms. He could have made that one, but the thing is, if you don't hit the top of the platform, it usually bounces you off. In yeah. some cases, what they're going to have to do is jump, and right when they get to the top, basically mash the run button, uh, because that will put them on top of it. Uh, now, your run button is your broom power. As you yeah, can the, see. Oh, yeah. These controls are, are, they're almost, it's a weird combination of like completely imprecise, but at the same token, 
right? Like super precise and sharp. Oh yeah. You know, you know like you said, right? You want to land on on the um, uh, on the platforms. You have to hit the top of it. You hit the side. You're gonna bounce. There's no. Um, but at the same token, it, it has the problem of Game Boy controls. Uh. Uh. Yeah. It's. I don't know the. The, the controls take a while to get used to. Dragon Dark is the master of bad controls. So what they're, most of the players are going to find out that when they get to the end of the stage, they can't beat it. Uh, now the intro screen with the owl shows a number three with a, some Chinese next to it and a number one with some Chinese next to it. The three is three stars. Oh, Dragon Dark Dobby still doesn't like you. So... You have to go get one more thing. So they've mostly got the three stars, everyone except for Lena Lietta here, uh, but they have to get one other item. Ritz, Dobby doesn't like you. Yeah, that's totally so, Dobby. Uh, yeah, the other item is like a, almost looks like a water bubble or something, right? Yeah. It was one of the things I saw like in, in my, I'm gonna play some controls and see what I get out of this, right? I think that's Dobby's spirit. I'm reasonably sure. That or it's your spirit. It's the spirit of Dobby? The spirit of Christmas. Yeah, the spirit of Dobby. Ritz has all the stars but is unable to progress. They're going to try to cast some magic here. Oh. Uh, so, <laughs> the only two spells that you have at the beginning of this are like summon bear trap and summon a rock. And... I don't think they really do much. Harry Potter and the Spirit of Butts. Dragon Dark is through the first stage. Oh, look at Ron here. <laughs> I love these ripped off pictures from the game, okay? They're so beautiful. This is, this is sound. This counts as music, I suppose. What hit Dragon Dark? I don't even know what that was. Oh my gosh! And Dark's dead. So it looks like all of the other players are currently going back through the level to find what they missed. Now, if I'm not mistaken, Dragon Dark's currently on stage two, and he has to collect the same items that he got. Uh, on the previous level, so three stars and one Spirit of Dobby. Yeah, Dragon Dark is getting frame rated because this is a good game. <laughs> this oh, game is excellent. I don't know what you're talking about. Bootlegs. I love bootlegs. I mean, hey, at least this has more frames than Virtual Highlight. I mean, you've got a good point there. Okay, so I already see something on Dragon Dark's sign. Oh yeah. That I found annoying. There's those ghosts that just blend in with the white background. Oh, Lenny Lietta is doing the hard jump. You can make that jump, but again, you have to push run when you land on top of the platform. Otherwise, you don't stay. It looks like Yuna and Ritz have made it to Dobby. Okay, sorry, I I got distracted. What were you saying there, Mr. Condan? The um no, just the, the, the ghosts on Dragon Dark side blend in with the background. That's really annoying. Oh yeah. <laughs> then it looks like there's fireworks now there too. I suppose so. I, I guess that's what the pink things are. Okay, Lena Lieta is starting to figure this out. Uh, they made it to Dobby and they don't have the required items, so they're going to have to go back and figure it out. <laughs> Try to kill Dobby. I, I can approve of that. Dobby's like, no, don't kill me, Master Potter. <laughs> what is this? This is Harry Potter and 
something. The spirit of Dobby Dragon Dark, I do not believe, has the required items to get. He needs two more stars. Two more stars. He did get the spirit of Dobby, though, so I'm thinking that he thinks that's all he needs, but it's not. You have to get multiple different items, because why not? Well, I mean, we've played games with two timers. How's this any different? I know, right? Why would they make you do this? Okay, I mean, it's bootleg. This is a very bootleg game. <laughs> I hate this music, too. Okay, Gorndan. <laughs> This, this music is so bad. I don't think it qualifies as music. I like Evil Dobby on Dragon Dark screen. It's like... They made Dobby both a hero and a villain. So now it looks like Dragon Dark's gonna try and go around again. You I... know, thinking that... That two stars is enough. I'm relatively sure he needs three. Oh, I like that crawling animation. like they cut off the bottom half of his torso. Okay, as far as I can see, everybody is starting to get used to the controls in this game. Nope, Dragon Dark still cannot exit! <laughs> One more star! Trying to cast a rock. At least he has figured out how to cast magic spells. I don't think those actually matter ever, but they might. Well, they might in the real game, but are they going to matter within the scope of an hour? Maybe. I I tried to find any information about this game, Corn Den, and I couldn't. Okay, Dragon Dark thinks that he despawned the end of level trigger. I'm gonna say I don't believe that he's softlocked. Not yet, anyway. If he comes back to it and, um, you know, after three stars, then yeah, that's gonna be rough, uh, and probably means that he has softlocked. So we'll go ahead and see. Lena Lieta appears to be starting the game over now. Uh, she did end up getting uh, to where she ran out of lives, and I think that's a good idea. I don't know if there are limited continues, but if it's the first stage, doesn't really hurt at all to just start all the way over. Well, and they, and they got to two stars and the spirit of Dobby. So, they should uh, be able to get Dragon Dark has well. found the last star. Very nice. And now he'll have to go find them all again. No! Cordan, you're ahead of me! <laughs> no! Yeah, Dragon Dark died, so he lost all his items. Oh, what a good game. So he's gonna have to go find the stars as well as the spirit of Dobby! This is better than the recent Hogwarts mobile game. Yeah. Yeah. Probably. I love... Ooh, Ritz Blues managed to get everything to move on to stage two. Ritz is currently in second, then. Unikitten and Lena Lieta are fighting for third and fourth currently. But I think once they figure out what they need to do in order to get through the first stage, uh, they will be able to make some progress. Now, I would like to say, in the real world, most people are not going to play bootleg games, okay? But if they did, odds are they're going to play it with absolutely no information about it because, hey, guess what? Information doesn't exist. And so I wanted to give that sort of representation of bootleg games to the players today where they're just given a game that, you know, was made and who knows how competently it was made, but they just have to figure things out and figure are, are out you what... Are, are you trying to justify the fact that you couldn't find any information on this game either? Shut up, Corn Dan. <laughs> I mean, it's a good excuse. <laughs> I, I mean, I, I guess I can't speak for everyone. I definitely, um... 
uh, played bootleg games on my way home um, from a work trip uh, yesterday. Oh yeah? I took my old GBA with me and um, I and our um, the flash cart for it and I just played what I just kept hitting random game to see what I got. Unikitten is on to stage two as well. Lenilietta has all of the needed items now. Yep, so, they're, they're making their way back to um, Dobby. Yeah. Ooh, that makes me happy that everybody is getting to stage two at a pretty reasonable time. Stage two is a little bit more difficult, though. Uh, Dragon Dark, I think, just didn't know all the items that he would need in order to finish the stage because, hey, guess what? He collected several of them before making it to the end of the first stage. Now all he's got to do is go get that, um, the Spirit of Dobby again. <laughs> <laughs> go find the Spirit of Dobby, Dragon Duck. Find his soul. Lena Lieta, moving on to stage two as well. Very nice. I do like the sprite for Harry Potter's life counter, okay? It's kind of cute. Yeah, I, like, I think there's some stuff that they did well here, right? The, most of the sprites work here is really good. Yeah. Right? It... Um, the controls, though, are okay. I, I, I've played worse. I've played not bootleg games that are worse. Yeah. Um, but they're not good, right? Like... They're not. Of uh, Dobby. Okay. I'm, because there is an entry on the... Uh, I, I believe... Oh no, I accidentally looked at the Harry Potter wiki instead of uh, the bootleg wiki. <laughs> oh, Dragon Dark is moving on to the next stage. Nice. Yeah. And, and we don't have to listen to that other music. No, it... It randomly lets him out. Okay, he still doesn't understand how to exit stages, but hey, he'll figure it out. So let me see. Well, there, he'll figure it out. He'll there is out actually out. no information about the spirit of Dobby on uh, the bootleg wiki either. So we're in uncharted territory here. Well, clearly that that just means that Dobby has no spirit. Uh, well, I mean, I was already prone to believe that. It looks like Ritz and Unikitten have both collected one star, uh, so they need three stars and one Spirit of Dobby in order to move on. So find his soul, <laughs> devour it, consume it. This, yeah. If any of you, by the way, are good at capturing souls, please let me know because I probably need to ban you. Okay, Ritz. The ghost is gonna fly back! Gonna fly back at- oh, I guess not. Ghost just left. So so now Yuna's caught in the same thing where, where um, Dragon Arc was. There's no Dobby to tell you you're bad. Mm -hmm. Right yeah. on, on that exit. Cadus, you are right. Cadus is mess messaging me. The owl splash before the stage is a checklist of which items you need. You are yep. correct, Cadus. Uh, so three stars and one soul. I mean, to be fair, this is a game about witches. You know, capturing souls is not all too unexpected. Should have done that more in Harry Potter to begin with. Ritz has got the right idea. They've got all three stars. Now they're just they just gotta work on getting that spirit. Oh, I see the spirit of Dobby. Okay. Ritz is going in the right direction. Lena Lieta getting hit by the, the bee. Lena Lieta does not have the stars 
They may be a little bit confused still. Dragon Dark has to get huh? six something. Uh oh. It looks like this might be a Quidditch match. <laughs> Not a very exciting Quidditch match. Ooh, Not really. You can platform on the brooms. Okay. Aha! He got one golden snitch. Wait, the whole point of the golden snitch is that if you catch it, the match is over. So, if you have to get six... Oh my gosh. Well, clearly each one of these is only one-sixth of a golden snitch. You know what? This might be Harry Potter 4 instead of Harry Potter in the... Harry Potty? Oh my gosh. Harry Potter and the Spirit of Dobby. But it's hard to say. I'm saying that it's the Spirit of Dobby. Okay, Ritz is through the stage. Yuna just needs one more star. Lena Lieta needs two. But Ritz is solidly in second right now. Okay, Dragon Dark. You need more snitches, Dragon Dark. Gotta get. Th oh, I love the balls flying through here. So, Harry Potter lore when you play uh, Quidditch, your goal is to murder the other team, okay? I mean, sounds legit. It's basically what happens. <laughs> the golden snitch made horcruxes that are other snitches. Oh, baby! <laughs> I could dig that, you know? Golden snitch is like, you're not gonna catch me this time. <laughs> oh, well... The Quidditch music is at least better than Stupid Stage 2, whatever that music was. Unikitten's still unable to get through. Let me just check. Okay, they're not asking if they're softlocked, but they're not. How are we only 20 minutes, in, 20 minutes into this match? Oh my gosh. Bootlegs are forever. I... This game just is it's just dragging on. Oh yeah. So we do have other games coming up later. Let's see. Uh one more match coming after this one. And that I believe they are probably talking about the game right now, trying to decide if that's going to be doable. Yeah, they're currently working on getting information out, so we'll chill for a little bit and see what they're able to say. So, let's see. Uh, okay, more color. I, I want to point out to you guys, you guys want to say I'm the one to blame for this. I'm just here because Brosentia needs someone to commentate with. Yeah, thank you. Right? It's his fault, not mine. This is his This is his group. No, my... No. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this game is Harry Potter and the Spirit of Dobby, but it might be Harry Potter 4. I don't know. Whatever. <laughs> I, I have other plans for my, my round 5 game. Where can you get this game? You can get this game on On the internet. Yeah. On your mark, get set. Riding on the internet. It's a good classic song. Uh, Katus, I will get you an answer on that in just a little bit. Okay, so Ritz is currently on stage three. I believe Dragon Dark is on stage four. They have two snitches so far, but they need more. And Ritz is going to be doing some Quidditch as well. Oh, baby. Dragon Dark just cruising to the right. This level is huge. It's so big! Or, or just wraps around. It might. I wouldn't be too surprised if that's what it does, but it looks like it's so big!
Okay. Let me see. Sorry, my fault. I'm needing to reply to somebody, so we're getting frame rated. Blame me this time. And also blame Comcast, okay? Just blame everybody. You know what? Just blame me for all of it today. And, and honestly, can you even tell with the frame rate we're getting out of this game that you're being frame rated? <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, jeez. I uh, I'm, I'm so happy though. This is this is being just about everything that I hoped and dreamed. Lena Lieta has the spirit of Dobby, but not enough stars. Yuna Kitten has one star, but not enough spirits of Dobby. Dragon Dark got through the stage. What? I guess he got enough sn snitches. Maybe you had to kill like six guys. I don't know. You know what? Killing six Hogwarts students, you know, it's a low price to pay to defeat the great evil. Ritz currently working on collecting the snitches. Okay, Lena Lieta has two stars and one soul. Looks like Dragon Dark is trying to leave the stage, but still doesn't understand he needs more stars. Now, don't spoil that, of course, for the players. Because we don't want to. Ah, dang it. It looks like I might have lied to Cadus. Why are you lying to Cadence? I, I didn't mean to. I don't think I have his Twitter. Crap. Nope. Oh. No, instead of Cadence, I don't have his Twitter account. He only sent me his Discord instead of the Twitter account, so unfortunately I don't have it. Alright, well, Harry Potter and the Spirit of Dobby is go going pretty good. Looks like Lena Lieta <laughs> is fighting an evil Dobby. You know, it's good that you can tell the difference between the good and the evil Dobbies. Because they're both ugly. Okay, Dragon Dark has three stars and three spirits, but it looks like that's not enough to get through. Yeah, I, I, I didn't see the transition, so I have no idea what it, he's supposed to get. I didn't see it either. Uh, don't say in chat, but if anybody wants to whisper to me what it said, that would be fine. He might need to get some fire, too. Okay, so he needs four stars and three spirits. Perfect. So it looks like Yuna's moving on to um, stage three. Very nice, very nice. Okay, Dragon Dark is through. I don't know if he understands quite yet how this works. Five and three now. He should be able to start seeing how this works. Okay, there are lots of happy flowers around. Those are awful happy flowers for this game because they should be sad. Oh yeah, for sure. I like the random spikes to the right on that platform that Dragon Dark was on. It's like, you don't need to go over here, we're just gonna put spikes there. I, 
I like how... Okay, so I played this a little bit, and it seems like with this game, you can hit enemies, and usually you'll do 50 damage, but occasionally you'll get uh, a critical hit that does more damage. Yeah, like, like 350, 500. Oh, yeah. Uh, apparently Dobby's not happy. So, with the controls, I know that everybody's watching. The controls are really uh, awkward here because you have to be on the ground and press run to run. And while you are running, you cannot jump. So, if you see them run into enemies while they are on a broomstick, that is why. Uh, it is very easy to do. Wow, Ritz is getting some good progress here as well. I think Dragon Dark has figured out exactly what he needs to do in order to make progress now, so that is great. Uh, okay. Also, I like all of the Harry Potter enemies, like Deadly Plant, a ghost with long arms, well, I mean, come on. Didn't you see that movie, Harry Potter and the Ghost of Long Arms? Harry Potter and the Ghost of Long Arms. Ooh. Uh, Harry Potter and the Giant Bees? Oh, man, that was my favorite. Uh, Harry Potter and that weird plant thing that looks like it has a mohawk? I mean, I believe that one won awards. I believe you're right, Corn Dan. I believe you are right. Okay. Luckily, you can kill ghosts. Here's a here's the thing. I've never understood this. How do you kill a ghost? It's How already you, dead. You called the Ghostbusters. Lenalietta, I think, is having to start that stage over. Lenalietta is starting to fall behind a little bit. Call the Ghostbusters? Well, you are the Ghostbuster. Corn Dan, okay? Put yourself in their shoes. You're in Bill Murray's shoes, Corn Dan, okay? You see a ghost. What are you gonna do? Well, clearly you cross the beams and then you do oh. terrible things. Man, you missed the training session. Dragon Dark is through! <laughs> Very nice. Okay, you banish ghosts, you don't kill them. Dragon Dark has to get five something. Yeah, don't cross the streams. Aha! I think you have to get five fires. So... Yeah, this one you definitely have to collect fires. I know this because I sat here watching the attract mode for this game earlier before uh -huh. the match started. Okay, so are those spikes? No. They look like Mega Man spikes! You, you expect that they should kill you. Oh yeah. Nope, just lights in the background. Jeez, they look murderous. Dragon Dark taking a little bit of damage. Ritz is almost through the stage, but does not have quite enough items to do it. Now, I believe he he's in the Forbidden stars. Woods. Where's Dragon Dark? Is this like the Dungeons of Hogwarts? Some sort of caverns? Possibly. Unikitten is starting to make some pretty solid progress as well. This stage is not too difficult. She should be able to get through it pretty quickly and then move on to Quidditch. Lena Lieta, uh, falling behind a little bit. We're 31 minutes into the match. We're starting to get to where uh, they should figure out the general mechanics and just start making a push. Uh, to try to get things quicker rather than safer, I think. Except if they feel like they're in the lead. I don't know. Just, they have a lot of health, so damage boosting is completely okay. Uh, they do not, like, falling into a pit is the main thing that they want to avoid. So, avoid pits. If you have to take a little damage, don't worry about it. You know, just do it. Don't worry about killing enemies because they take so many hits a lot of the time. 
Unikitten has three stars and one Spirit of Dobby. I think that's going to be enough. She's just got to get through this platforming section to move on to Quidditch. And this game really likes to eat your inputs. As you're seeing, Unikitten is pausing before every jump. That's because if you're holding over and you jump, odds are it's not going to jump. It's true. So Dragon Nerd needs eight of something and three of something else. And Unikitten on to Quidditch. Okay, eight and three for Dragon Dark. Yeah, Dragon Dark has a solid lead here. Come on. So, so at least one of those things is stars. Yeah. What's interesting to me, by the way, uh, with this game is that they... I haven't seen the players really run at all during this. Uh, if... Oh, Dragon Dark using it just a little bit. Uh, it's understandable that they don't want to do that, but if you were doing like a pro playthrough of this game, uh, a speedrun of this game, you would probably be using that run feature a lot. It's just so impossible to use well during a blind playthrough that they're not doing it. And I think that's a good choice. Dragon Dark just trying to make this jump. I love it. Okay, as you're gonna see, Dragon Dark will make the... What he's trying to do is jump up there and push attack at the same time so that he uses the broom to run. And, yeah, that's how he managed to get across that gap. So, for, for everyone complaining about the music right now, this is still better than Stage 2. Yeah, it's a good, good song. This is a classic my mother would always play me on the piano. I'd sit at home. She's like, let me play you a song, son. And she'd go... Do, 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 Ah, the memories. The memories of home. Well, I, I mean, yeah, it's a, um... It's a great classic song. At least this isn't level two. <laughs> Everybody's heard of it. Everybody knows the words, and the words are, at least this isn't level two. Oh, yeah. It's a good song. At least this isn't level two. Okay, Dragon Dark has really like gotten a hold of how this game works, making a good amount of progress here. Well, uh, there's a boss. A what? Is it a snake? Please be a snake. It is a snake! <laughs> okay. Oh, what a cute snake. Oh, he booped the snake snoot. Snake deserves it. You know, this could possibly be the final boss. I have no idea. I have no clue. But we'll have to see. Is this the final boss, or is this just a mid-boss? Well, oh, as we've already established, we have no information about this game, like, at all. None at all. I like the music here, though. It's also better than Same stage here. two. Well, I, I mean, Random Dutes by Chinese Composer is, is better than stage two. <laughs> There we go, Dragon Dark taking a little bit of damage, but I wouldn't be too worried about that so far in this game, you know? It's still staying yeah, alive. Same, same token, Yuna has got two of the... Uh, excuse me, two of the snitches you did. <laughs> yeah, two snitches. Just need to get six, I believe, in order to move on. Oh, I think I saw a snitch. Lena Lieta needs one more star and one Spirit of Dobby to move on from this stage. Dragon Dark still bopping the snake. Oh, I do like Rygar's There Are Four Notes in this song. Okay, I think that's actually on my playlist. 
Well, I, I mean, everybody knows the value of a four chord song, so it's oh, not yeah. surprising. Well, it's not really four chord. Well, it's four notes. That's about all the Nintendo can do. Let's see. Uh, Dragon Dark maybe through this. What? He did 5,000 damage? I think he maybe through the game. He is. Congrats and Dragon Dark is the victor here. Congrats, Dragon Dark. Now we need to watch for the other players and see how they do because we still have plenty that everybody else could do. But Dragon Dark, yeah, got a GG. Looks like Ritz is moving on to the next stage. We may see one or two more finishes, Corn Dan. We'll have to see how it goes. Possible, yeah. Um, I mean, Ritz is on their way. Yeah, Ritz is pretty close. Lena Liet is through the stage. Awesome. Moving on to stage three. Uh, Unikitten's on four. Ritz is on basically the last platforming stage before the final boss. Am I? No, 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 no. They're not quite there. Okay, that's the exit, though. They found the exit. Ritz is just going to have to go and do all the collect-a-thons here. Ah, okay, here we go. Dragon Dark just letting the demo play out. Uh, yeah, Dragon Dark has finished the game, so depending on what they want to do, or what he wants to do, uh, I know that he's given us audio, but if needed, he could possibly go to something else. I mean, we've got f 21 minutes left in this, so maybe you can learn how to speedrun it, Dragon Dark. The thing is, like... You think you were missing an item? Maybe... Maybe... I would... Yeah... The competitors can give spoilers if needed. Uh, Dragon Dark is completely right. Yeah. Okay, and I don't believe anybody speedruns this game, so Dragon Dark, feel free to submit this to speedrun.com and get your free world record. <laughs> oh, baby. Unikitten still trying to find all those snitches. Just gotta get three more, I believe. Lena Lieta trying to find all of the... Uh, all of the stars as well as the spirit of Dobby. She got the spirit. Leonard Lietta is actually starting to make some progress here and catch up to where Unikitten was. Uh, let's see. Ritz is currently going through the stage collecting fire. Just need a little bit more fire. Looks like they're not going to collect the health right now. That makes sense. Uh, so the jelly beans lying around. For some reason, I've seen multiple bootleg games have jelly beans as the health. And I mean, yeah, the every flavored beans, you know, they're pretty awesome. Oh, Ritz falling into the lava. Wow. Yeah, the Bernie Blots. Every flavored beans. They're cool, okay? Not only that, but they heal your face. Okay, let me take a look. I believe we are still waiting on one person. If your name is Julian, go check Discord because you're going to be playing next. Oh. And that game is going to be amazing. Dragon Dark, feel free to cut. You can go ahead and switch to a different game if you would like. You don't like the music. Well, you can you can pull up a different game, or you can just go offline and we'll play random music. You know, that's fine, too. It looks like he's going offline. Well, I mean, can you blame him? Nope. Well, there we go. Dragon Dark has finished the game. Congratulations. Let's pull up some music. Ah, 
Ah, currently, Yuna Kitten is on the stage after Quidditch. She's starting to catch up to Ritz. If Ritz doesn't make some solid progress soon, there is the possibility that Yuna could move from, uh, from third into second. Lena Lieta also almost at the end of the stage. As you can yeah. see, Lena Lieta keeps walking off platforms, and that's because of the janky controls here. Yeah, those controls are not fun. Oh yeah, not at all. Okay, Lena Lieta is at Dobby, and they, she is through on to the Quidditch stage, stage four. Yeah, now, Dragon Dark. I think he finished the game before he understood how the items work. Yes, you have to collect a certain number of items before you are able to move on to the next stage. So Lena Lieta is currently on the stage where you need six of uh, the... I just lost my brain. Six fairies. You need six fairies in order to move on. Uh... Yeah, so you gotta find Link and stab him, and then take his fairy. So, Yuna should be pretty close, right? Just two more stars. Uh, yeah, Yuna is pretty close to finishing this stage. It looks like Dragon Dark. he's whispering to me, he did figure out the item thing on the first stage, Figured out that the numbers on the screen before the stage starts tell you how many you need. Yeah, uh, so good job Dragon Dark figuring that out. That's one of the key things that you need to figure out in this game. Lena Lieta just... Why did the Quidditch player disappear? Oh my gosh. I don't know. This is a good game. <laughs> Okay, Yuna, moving on to the stage before... Let's see, Ritz is actually on the final stage, so Unikitten is two stages behind. If Ritz struggles with this, Unikitten can make up time and possibly yeah. move into second. If I remember correctly, though, the basically the, the level that Yuna is on now is probably like the worst one in terms of getting things. Oh yeah, it takes The a other while. two after that are pretty linear, even. I would say so, yeah. So, Ritz is probably going to have a fine time getting through this stage. Ah, there's the spirit of Dobby. Good. Wait, Koala's Voldemort? Cornan, who would you be in the Harry Potter series? Oh. Okay, let me think. Who... You could be one of Malfoy's friends. Yeah. Is my room falling apart? No, my son is playing with toys that, like, make noise. <laughs> Crab Dan. Oh, there you go. Instead of Corn Dan, you're now Crab Dan. No, that's mean. Don't call him Crab Dan. I'm Lee Jordan? Oh, baby, I don't remember who that is. What's going on? We're currently watching the end of the match. Dragon Dark already beat the game. Yeah, I think we'll see, you know, we have like 15 minutes-ish left. I think we should see at least one more completion, if not two. Oh, awesome. Oh, Here's it hoping. looks like we're going to announce the next game. I'm excited for the next game. I don't know what it is. Corndan, do you want to say what game this is? Well, so, yeah, I can, I suppose. If, <laughs> uh, the last game of the night is Electro Man for DOS. Ooh, Electro Man. I have no idea what that is. I do. I, I've played it. Um, Electro Man is a platforming sort of game for, for DOS done by Epic Mega Games. Okay. And, and you'd think, you know, well, Epic's done some pretty good stuff, right? Oh, and yeah, then, they're And Epic. then you would play this, and then, and then you would be wrong. Oh, baby. Okay. Well, 
I'm excited. We're going to see how it goes. It's very early 90s DOS. So Thunderbolts and Lightning, very, very frightening. Me. Yeah, kind of. Okay. Uh, Lena Lieta currently collecting snitches. That's what they're called again. They're not fairies. The snitches. The golden oh, snitch. They got a snitch. Oh, yeah. Still, like, figuring out how to actually get the snitches is being a little bit difficult. Oh, I saw one! Come on, Lena Lieta, get the snitch! Yes! Yeah! Just, I think, three more to go. Well, now it makes sense why Dragon Dark went from having two to, to passing really, really fast. They just, like, show up. Oh, yeah. I'm not sure there's any way to really, like, influence them, you know? I, I have no idea, but as soon as you get six, you go into the next level. Yeah, come on, Lenalietta, get the last one. There it is, there it is, it's flying around. <laughs> this music feels appropriate. There we go, Lenalietta finishing the stage. Moving on to uh, stage four, five. Stage five. Ritz taking a death. Oh man, so much to collect so, there. So, so did Yuna too. Yeah, but the, I mean, the collection on that one is there's so much, but it's like all just together. As long as you just go through that that last stage, like you're gonna find all of that. I'm gonna do a quick refresh of all the streams so that we can have the latest and greatest going on there. You mean so you won't be 10 seconds behind me? Yeah, that too. So Dragon Dark is saying that, per his impression, snitches seem to have specific locations where they would spawn, but they spawn in order and later ones don't spawn until the earlier ones are collected. That makes sense. You know, that... I mean, wouldn't surprise me. Oh yeah, not at all. Lenit Lieta, not through the stage yet. Still got to do a little bit more collecting. Yeah, I feel almost like Lena Lieta hasn't caught on to the, you know, things on the screen beforehand and tell you basically numbers and you can kind of surmise from there which ones you need. Right, because I keep seeing them try to go to the exit a lot. Yeah, you might be right about that. Yep, you're, you're right. She just uh, collects an item and then heads, heads to the end. Uh, yeah, figuring out that the numbers mean something. I told him that I wasn't going to translate Chinese for them. Uh, but... Uh, it still is an important piece of information to look at the numbers and figure out that they mean something. And that has definitely helped some players. Ritz is on to the final boss. No, this snake is so cute. Okay, this is the cutest snake in video game history. Oh, jeez. And it bites fast. Uh, yeah, Dragon Dark already finished the game, and because of that... Uh, we just have random video game music until this is done. Kill the snake! I'm actually kind of impressed with the snake and the, the sprites for it, because it looks pretty good. You know, and all told, honestly, right, the sprites in the background work on this game have been pretty good. Oh yeah. I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if they're stolen from elsewhere, but, you know, they found some really good art to steal. Or, or they have a good artist, right? I mean, I still don't know where the plant guys came from, but the rest of it, right? As I said, it's been good. Yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh. Lena Lieta. Currently on the same stage as Yuna Kitten. Uh oh, Corn Dead. We could possibly see a lead change between these two. For well, third I think and fourth. Yuna just picks up everything that that she needs to move on. Yuna's just rushing 
Yeah, I, I think she's starting to feel the pressure, so taking some damage boost there. I'm glad that if you're willing to take the damage, you can go really fast in this game. Yeah, I think, I mean, I think with the broom, there's there's a lot of, a lot of tech you could do here. Oh, yeah. Ritz is through! Ritz killed the snake! And Unikitten is through the stage, on to the next one, maintaining their lead ahead of Lena Lietta. Lena Lietta needs to find the collectibles in this, uh, in this stage quickly. At least she knows where the exit is. I like that the exit is disappointed Dobby. It's a good exit. It's like, you found my soul yet? No, no Dobby. Go get my soul. Dobby has really thick eyebrows as well. Unikitten continuing on. Seriously, those look like spikes in the background. They're killing me. But not killing Harry Potter. Well, I, I mean, there's spikes. You know, Harry Potter's not Mega Man, so he can he can live with some spikes. Oh yeah. Well, Ritz is free to go offline if they would like because they have finished their match. Lena Lieta and Unikitten still battling for third and fourth. Unikitten currently is in third, but Lena Lieta, if they're able to get the collectibles that they need fast enough, then they may be able to move places. Now, the biggest concern that I have, as you said, Corndan, is that Lena Lieta does not appear to know uh, that the numbers before the stage uh, equal the number of items that they have to pick up. Yeah, it just hasn't felt like that, right? I feel like we're running a lot of back and forth to Dobby or the ends. Yeah. Right? And, and I, I definitely think that that's made a big difference. Mm hmm Harry Potter's a wizard. I'm not a wizard! No, I'm sorry to disappoint you all in chat, but as it turns out, I actually only do fake magic. Well, I, I mean, I do engineering, and some days that looks like magic. You do rockets! Uh, well, jet engines, but yeah. Those are like planes attached to rockets, okay? True! Yeah, and that's cool. I'm a charlatan? What? Oh my gosh. Well, I'm a charlatan. Lena Lieta getting another soul of Dobby, or spirit of Dobby. Make you a jetpack, huh? Uh, Dragon Dark didn't figure out the numbers correlated to the number he had to get. He just realized he had to collect stuff in order to finish the level. Okay. Oh. Dragon Dark, you're misleading us there. We all thought that you that you were a genius here, but no, you're only half a genius. I don't know, what do you... Only a, only a reasonably smart person, not a genius. How about that? <laughs> he figured it out on the stage before the snake. And then he's <laughs> like, oh, okay. Ritz has gone offline, that's completely fine. Both Dragon Dark and Ritz have finished the game. Congratulations to both of them. Dragon Dark took first, Ritz second. At this point, it looks like Yuna is likely to take third and Lena Lieta fourth. But again, we have to see what happens in just a little bit. I don't think there's time for Lena Lieta to catch up because there's still the one stage separation between the two. Or maybe two stage. No, one stage. So it's just one stage. 
Uh, at this point in time, this is definitely, I mean, even with three minutes left, these, these two stages are fairly linear, but I don't think it's going to be the case that Lena Lieta is going to uh, catch up here, right? Even though it is um, the, you know, straightforward sort of stage. Uh-huh. Yeah, Unikitten kitten taking some damage from a ghost. You have so much health in this game, though. Like, it's a little bit ludicrous. I mean, if it is made for children, it's and it's a bootleg made, game, then that's fine. Yeah. I mean, it's clearly a game for, I don't know, something. Wait, does Lena, or did Yuna have a hammer? I swear she had a hammer for a little bit. Maybe it was my imagination, but I could have sworn she had a hammer and was going, whack! Whack those enemies. Ah, oh, well, I this has been a fun match. Uh, I'm glad that we saw some game finishes there. Yeah, I know Dragon Dark. They are death pits, but they don't look like death pits because there are platforms underneath. If you go down far enough. I don't know. It's weird. Which is Hex. Thank you for the host. Yeah, I, I don't know. I don't know how to think about it either. I don't know. This, oh no! This is definitely the music for the game. Hundred percent. Since I don't have whatever your your play, what what music is on in the background? Uh, Harry Potter. Yeah, it, it's got a nice little flavor that makes me think Little Mermaid, you know. Oh, oh it's, right. It's pretty awesome. So, so what you're saying is this came from the game version of Harry Potter and that weird plant thing that has a mohawk? <laughs> Harry Potter and the weird thing that has the mohawk. Yeah. Precisely, Unikitten, being careful with that jump, good idea. Whoa, whoa. And I think Unikitten is possibly going to get to the final boss, but it not have like time it. to finish it. That's okay. Yeah, oh no, with, Unikitten, the... death at the end! No! Oh no! That was so sad. Well... Just three seconds, one ten left, and here we go. Oh! Not even close. We are done, though. This was Harry Potter. Harry Potter and the Spirit of Dobby. Dragon Dark managed to take the victory here. Ritz Blues taking second. Unikitten almost making it to the final boss. Lenny Lietta making some solid progress in the second half of the stage. Takes four. Er, the second half of the match uh, takes fourth. It was a really fun watch. Definitely is a bit of a difficult game, this one. Yeah, uh, most bootlegs seem to kind of be that way. Yeah. Right, they're, um, they're either going to be really, really easy or really, really hard. And sometimes they're hard and you're not really sure if it's because they did the conversion of something else wrong or um, because they're just hard. Yeah, so what are your impressions? Um, you know, it's more playable than I thought it would be. Um, you know, it, it's very consistent, right, where I'm not, you know, usually with bootlegs, like, you'll get, um, I, you know, I kind of felt this way, too, with the Pocket Monsters yesterday. Yeah. Right, is you got something that's consistent, and, I mean, as far as bootlegs go, it's relatively well done. I've seen, you know, real games play and look worse than this. Oh, yeah. I'm still not sure I'd want to play it, though. <laughs> I mean, that.